Hey guys, Sandra here from Boho Jewel. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about your handmade business. So maybe you're getting ready to start selling at a local farmer's market, or maybe there are some spring craft shows popping up, or even if you're just working on your own website, maybe you have an Etsy shop and you're trying to fill it up and you are trying to figure out what you should sell. Like what should you sell? What should you make? And the reason I want to talk about this, um, one of the last craft shows that I did last season, I was having a conversation with a fellow vendor that I had met that day, and that's kind of where the conversation led. And my advice was, make what you want to make. And the guy's wife was like nodding in the background, like, yes, like that's what I'm trying to tell him. So it's, it's a genuine concern because when you get to a place where you want to earn a decent amount of money from your handmade products, whatever you're doing, whether it's jewelry or pottery or woodworking or um, soap making or candle making or whatever it is that you do, it can be a little frustrating, of course, no matter what business you're in when you're trying to sell stuff and it's not selling. And sometimes I think it's really easy for us to fall into that trap of what is selling? Who, who is making money at stuff and can I do that too? Can I duplicate that? Can I replicate that and make money doing that too? Don't do that if that's not what you wanna do, okay? The reason that I say that is this, if you really, really enjoy making the stuff that you make, then make it. And maybe you just need to consider selling at different venues or getting out to more people or changing your online platforms. You know, just figure out how to promote yourself a little more. But don't just start making stuff that you don't care a lot about because you think it's going to sell because somebody else was able to sell it. The reason being is this. If you love what you do, the people will find you you will sell it. If you are absolutely passionate about what you're doing, you're going to get better at it no matter what it is. Okay, you're going to get better at it. Your skill level is going to increase because you're working on that all the time, right? Your quality is going to increase and you are going to be expanding in that field and getting more creative. And then it's part of you. And if you're really excited about it, then you also have a story to share about your process, about why you love to make the things that you make, why you love doing what you do, what inspired you to maybe start, what what your tools are, what your materials are. And that kind of energy is what people will pick up on. And that is what is going to help you sell your stuff to. If you're just making stuff because it's a trend right now and you're thinking, hopefully I can turn a few dollars, you're not going to be that excited about it. Okay, you're not. I mean, and probably a lot of you have tried that and I've tried that too. You know, you live and learn. And I realized very quickly, I was like, I'm not spending money on the materials for this and I'm not going to do this because it's boring to me because I don't really enjoy it. So what's the point? And maybe you'll sell a few of whatever it is, whatever the current crafty trend is. But are you really going to like establish a business with that? Are you really going to have long term gains from that? Probably not. So just for example, right now, OK, like the trends and the trends come and go. And I'm not saying don't follow the trends because they can be inspiring. And yes, if there's a trend that's happening that you're excited about, jump on that bandwagon. Um, pineapples, right? Pineapples are everywhere right now. What was the other thing? A couple of cactus, llamas. Right. So these are things and I'm not criticizing any of that. It's fine. It's wonderful. Right. But if and I enjoy some of the things that I see and I might even buy them, but I am not going to suddenly create an entire line of llama, cactus, pineapple jewelry just because that's what's selling right now. Because you know what? In a few months, it's going to be something else. And if I haven't sold all that stuff, there might still be a few people into it. But I might also be sitting on it, right? And then that's investment in my time, investment in materials, and people are going to be over it. They're going to be on to the next thing. Now, if you sell toys, handmade toys, and llamas are the rage, then maybe, and you know, you make animal toys, then it makes sense for you to make some llamas. Do you see what I'm saying? So don't, like, yes, use it as inspiration. And if you're excited about it, run with it. Because people pick up on that. It's a very um, energy level kind of thing. And just like when you're selling in person and you're talking about your stuff, if you're excited about what you made, that comes across no matter what you say, how you say it, what your script, what your shtick is, 
People are going to pick it up whether you're excited about it or whether you just did something because you're trying to turn a dollar, right? Not to mention your quality of your product and what you're creating is going to be different if you're excited about it or if you're just trying to make something because somebody told you it might be a good idea. And I just want to touch on that because people have the best intentions and a lot of times people that are not very crafty or not very skilled in the arts or don't have a lot of interest in making things, a lot of times they get really great ideas about what you should be making, right? And that happens all the time. And once in a while, yes, yeah, somebody touches on an idea and I'm like, you know, that actually, that could work. Maybe that's something I could look into or maybe that's something that I could do down the road, right? So I don't discredit other people's ideas, but you also don't have to take very, like you don't have to change your whole business. You don't have to change your whole um, passion because somebody else says, oh, you know what a friend of mine sold a lot of down at the beach or in New York or whatever. If that's not where you are and not who you are, then appreciate the advice, say thank you, smile really big, take a note and say, I might think about that down the road and appreciate that they're interested in your business, that they're trying to support you in that way, but that doesn't mean that you're committed to going out and doing every idea that people are throwing at you. They have great intentions, but it's a business and you have to know what's best for your business. So my advice to you, and I know I'm like super excited, like kind of um, rambling about this, but it's because, you know, I see people doing that. I see people churning out, like spending money on stuff, trying to do some little trend, something they see on Pinterest. You guys, if it's all over Pinterest and like everybody and their grandma has done it, it's because it's super simple and basic and you're probably not going to make like rent money selling that. Okay. So unless you can take it a step further, unless it's a crap that you see on there and you're like, wow, that is so cool. And then you take it to the next level and create something that not everybody else is doing. Right. So don't just hop on the trends out of desperation. Just stick with what you care about. Stick with what you're doing. Do it really, really well stay consistent and just be true to yourself and then the rest will fall into place. I see people all the time that are so talented and this is why I'm so excitable about it. People are so talented and they're so good at what they do, but they're putting themselves down. They're getting discouraged. They're like, okay, let me just hop on this train and this train and this train. And then before you know it, they're going around in circles. They're not getting anywhere. So just take a look at, at what you need to do as far as maybe promoting yourself more, staying consistent, finding better venues to sell at, whatever you need to do. But whatever you're creating, whatever you're making, just make sure that it's something you actually want to be doing because otherwise, why do it? Why do it? Like the whole point of, of having your own handmade business is because you want to do what you want to do, right? You want to make stuff you want to make. So just stay true to that. Keep going. It will happen. Love you guys. I will talk to you soon.